this is the latest version of the AR4 robot. This is the Mark IV version. The AR4 robot is an open source or free design desktop six axis robot that anybody can build. The Mark IV update includes this larger base enclosure. This is a, a 3D printed enclosure. So if we remove the lid here and look underneath, you can see we've got the uh, same Teensy 4.1 control board and uh, 4.1 terminal breakout board, but we've also got this 2x12 terminal board, which uh, makes the wiring a lot cleaner. And then with this larger base enclosure, this also makes room for the uh, Modbus 485 board. So this board allows the robot to communicate with PLCs through the uh, RJ45 jack right here. Now, if we remove the uh, hold down screws for the tray, we can take those out and then we can lift the tray up. And when we uh, raise the tray here, you can see underneath we have all of the uh, drivers that control the robot. But with this uh, additional space, I've also mounted the nano board as well as a uh, current limiting board for the servo gripper. And that uh, limiting board's right there. And so now the uh, servo gripper controls is all on board and you don't have to have an external enclosure to uh, run the servo gripper. We also have this split collar design for the joint two motor spacer, which allows the uh, motor mount to be a C-frame style so it can just slide on. So we no longer have to remove the motor cap anymore. So this makes the robot assembly quite a bit easier. The joint five limit switch has been updated to a smaller T85 limit switch. So you can see it mounts directly under the cover here and is contacted directly by the J5 carrier. So it's a little bit cleaner. I've gone through and updated the uh, user build manual for the robot. This uh, you know includes a bill of materials, chapters on the assembly and the Modbus option and the pneumatic rippers, and then the specs and a few other things here. Um, if we look through the uh, bill of materials, you can see we've got sections for all the components. We've got the uh, structural components, and then all the hardware and the electrical components, including here the new 2x12 terminal board and the DuPont connectors that are needed. Um, the uh, manual also just goes through um, all the steps of assembly. So you can see here we've got you know every single step, every wire connection. Um, so it's pretty easy to follow and, and it doesn't skip anything. So anybody can build this robot. If you go to the project page at uh, anandrobotics.com, you can find um, you know all of the information to build the robot, including the uh, downloads for the manual, the uh, software, and all the 3D print files is always free. So um, yeah, check that out. And if you have any questions, please reach out. Thanks for watching.